Good morning, friends. For our plant check-in today, we're going to be checking on our flowers here. This plant looks like we have three columbines blooming happily over here. I like to rotate this a lot so that they can all get a chance for a different angle. And this plant is doing well. It helped when I put the diatomaceous earth around the bottom so that the cutworms wouldn't attack it as much. So that's been pretty helpful. And then I just put this little basket around it just for some extra protection. You can never be too safe. So she seems pretty happy and that makes me happy. So moving on. Our lamb's ear. We have some areas where we're having some insects eating, but other areas where it's completely free of that. So this is just another area of learning. The pumpkin is doing very well. We watered it today. And if you notice, Sunflowers are getting bigger as well. And we have a very large pumpkin. It's almost the size of a basketball, I would say. So let's take a peek over here. We're gonna peek under these humongous leaves to find our pumpkin friend. Now he's just resting on top of that cinder block, so we're gonna let him grow over there. We also have another pumpkin friend under here. Let's lift up this leaf to reveal another pumpkin growing here. Doing pretty well. Let's check on some other plants over here. It's interesting to see how this pumpkin plant grows and how it just kind of spreads out. Also, this other mystery vegetable is coming out of the garden, getting bigger. Coming over here, all the way down. So we're just going to let that guy grow. Dahlias are doing pretty good. These sunflowers seem to be bouncing back okay, even though they've been eaten, as you can see. These leaves must just be really delicious. Maybe there's something I don't know. But on the topic of delicious leaves, I would just like to take a moment to explain what I learned about these weeds, the red root pigweed. I'm going to go over here a little bit closer to a taller one that's growing. And I learned that this weed is actually not a weed. It's sometimes called wild spinach. Oh, here's our other sunflower on the corner here. This is sometimes called wild spinach. And you can eat the leaves off of this plant. You can eat the leaves, although I'm not going to eat these leaves because they have white spots on the bottom and I'm not really sure about that. But you can eat the leaves on these, you can eat the, um, you can eat the seeds, and you can eat just lots of parts of this plant. So I'm going to let a few of them keep growing. Um, I also learned that this plant is good at sucking up nitrogen in the soil. So that's pretty cool. I actually went ahead and picked some leaves from this guy from my front yard and sauteed them in butter and garlic and they were delicious. So just goes to show you. And here's a fallen tree branch from the poor crab apple. So I've just set it over here for now until I figure out what to do with it all. 
and we watered this fella today. Now let's take a look at his fungi. All right, here's the fungi. can see and then when, once these get a little bit drier I'm gonna remove all of these from in front of the tree but for now I'll just try to peer in here and see these fungi very interesting very fascinating thank you for tuning in with me I hope you all have a beautiful day <laughs>